she really pulled up to my house. So I had to hit her with the... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janelle Couture and today I'm doing a story time about when my stalker ex-best friend showed up at my house unwanted, unannounced, uninvited. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna just give y'all the background history of our friendship before I get into the whole how she became a stalker so i met her the summer before third grade she lived in my neighborhood and we were inseparable like we were childhood friends and my mom didn't like me to hang out with her and her family actually i'm so sorry let me give her a name to make this easier so of course i'm not going to use her real name we're going to go ahead and call her Shaniqua okay and Shaniqua has a twin brother we're gonna call him Darrell and they also have an older sister we're gonna call her Tatiana everyone else in this story I'm gonna use their real names because I already told them that I was doing this story okay so I met Shaniqua the summer before third grade and like her family was was ghetto like I, I don't I don't want to sugarcoat it like I just want to say the story how it is um and my mom did not like that and my mom did not want me to hang around them because they were just some bad kids um they was getting into stuff like um at a young age and she started like doing things with boys around like fifth sixth grade um she was like you know going places like taking catching the bus to go places that a kid had no business going and she she was she was you know my mama just she had her intentions so my cousin amanda you all know my cousin amanda from a few of my videos she would come over for the summer during the summer and she liked them as well so when she came over we would sneak to their house shaniqua's house and yeah like we just all grew up together um from third grade up until eighth grade me and shaniqua were best friends and then um right before ninth grade freshman year in high school she moved she moved about three hours away to a different state the summer between eighth and ninth grade we talked and we kept in contact um but we didn't see each other um where she lived was really far like too far to see her i had not spoken to shaniqua since the summer before freshman year and i'm now a junior so I was 15 turning 16 and I was having a huge sweet 16. I might um, insert a photo if I uh, want to. I look a little rough. The night before my sweet 16, my sweet 16 was on a Saturday. The night beat Friday night, y'all. Um, me, my mom, my cousin Amanda, my cousin Alexa, and my aunt, Amanda's mom were going to go to Party City and then we were going to go get uh, place the order for my cake. Amanda gets a call so she answered the phone and she's like hello and um, it was Tatiana, Shaniqua's older sister. Amanda has not talked to Shaniqua and them for maybe like four or five years. I have not spoken to Shaniqua in two years at this point so um amanda answered the phone is tatiana who is shaniqua's older sister and she's like hey tatiana like what's up and she was just like oh amanda well i heard that janelle was having a sweet 16 and shaniqua wasn't invited and shaniqua's sitting here right next to me and she's really sad and she just doesn't understand why she wasn't invited um you know they're best friends they grew up together you know like i just don't understand why she didn't get an invitation um at this point i have not talked to the girl in two going on three years so shaniqua she like i'm not gonna lie i forgot about her 
she just wasn't like on my mind when I was planning my sweet 16. Like my sweet 16 was so stressful. We all been teenagers. Imagine having a sweet 16 and you're like, oh my God, like I wanted the pink cover and Like I was stressed out and stuff. I wasn't thinking about her. So Amanda was just on the phone like, uh, uh, like stuck. She didn't know what to say. So she's like, okay, um, like, I don't know. It's not my sweet 16. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. So like, let me just grab Janelle. Like I'm at her house. So like, let me just, you know, go get her. So Amanda comes up to me and she's like, Tatiana's on the phone. And I'm like, Tatiana? Like, why is she on the phone? And she was just like, basically she said that Shaniqua is sad. She didn't get an invitation to your sweet 16. Let me remind y'all, this is the night before my sweet 16. She gives me the phone and I'm like, hello, Tatiana. And she's like, hi, Janelle. And I'm like, hi. And she's like, you know, I heard you're having a sweet 16 tomorrow and Shaniqua wasn't invited and y'all have been childhood best friends and we just don't understand why you wouldn't invite her. And I was just like, okay. I honestly, I didn't know what to say. I, I didn't know what to say. I was just like, oh, I mean, like, I just, I haven't talked to her in so long. Like, you know, I don't know. She's just like, okay, well, you know, Shaniqua, like, wanted to come. Now, mind you, when I was little, my mom forbid me from hanging out with this girl. And I still did it anyway. My mom knew that, but, like, my mom, she, she don't like him. Okay, let's just, let's just keep it 100. Shaniqua now wants to come to my Sweet 16, which is tomorrow, by the way, so last minute. Everything is planned. Everything is set in stone. Everything is paid for. Everything is done. And my mama don't like her. And I'm, I'm a kid at this point. So obviously, I have to ask my mom for permission. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, hold on. So I go to my mom and I'm like, mommy, you know, Shaniqua is on the phone. She found out I was having a Sweet 16 and like... She wants to come. My mom was like, okay. Surprisingly, I don't I don't know. My mom, she ain't tripped. So she just said, okay. So I was like, okay, um, Tatiana, you know, Shaniqua can come. Um, I know y'all moved and yeah, but it's tomorrow. And I think my C16 started at like, I think I, I told everyone to be at my house by like, I think one or 12 or, something like that to something i don't remember i told her the time that she needed to be at my house and tatiana goes oh well we're 30 minutes away she can be there within the next 30 minutes are you still home and i was like girl this is a setup what do you mean you're 30 minutes away you live three hours away what do you mean you're 30 like it was just really strange and really awkward and really weird that like you called me asking to be invited to my sweet 16 and now you're 30 minutes away. But anyways, I had to go back to my mom and ask my mom, was it okay that she slept over? And my mom said yes. So I told Tatiana like, yeah, like it's fine. Shaniqua can come. So 30 minutes goes by and Shaniqua shows up at my house. And it was just like awkward for the first 10, 15 minutes, it was like, hey, old friends. Glad you're able to attend tomorrow, you know. Fast forward to a year later, senior year, October, also my birthday month. I have not talked to Shaniqua in a whole year. I just decided to have a party as well. This is a whole nother story time for another, like, let me know if y'all want to know the story, the senior year's party from hell. Like, when I tell you a whole fight broke out, drunk people passed out on my couch, knives. It was crazy. It was, it's a story time for another time. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want to hear that. I was trying to keep things calm in my basement while you know the party was happening because i did not want my parents to know that we were all drunk and then a fight started to like break out like somebody let me know that this these girls that me and my friends had beef with was outside my house to fight now in the midst of all this my best friend comes up to me and she says shaniqua is at your door 
Shaniqua is at your door. One more time. Shaniqua is at, like what? I go to my front door and Shaniqua and her brother Darrell are there. And I'm just staring at them. And she's like, wow, Janelle, like you had a party and didn't invite me? It was like I saw a ghost. Like I just, I didn't understand. Like how do this girl keep popping up? She's literally at the door and she's like, I can't believe like you had a party and you didn't tell me you didn't invite me. And I was like, it, it didn't come to my mind to ask her like, how did you find out about my party? How did you get here because you don't drive? Like none of those things were going through my mind. It was just like, okay, well you're here now, whatever. It's a lot of other bigger things going on besides you. So come in, like whatever. And then Darrell ended up stealing me and my best friend's phone. Again, this party was the party from hell. If y'all wanna know this story, then let me know. Two years have gone by now, y'all, two years. And I'm working at the mall. I had normally had like evening shifts cause I had class in the morning. And then I would work from like 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So um, when I got home one day, the phone was ringing. The phone starts ringing late at night and my grandma answers the phone and my grandma says, she was upstairs, I was in the living room watching TV and my grandma says, Janelle, and I'm like, what? And she's like, Shanique was on the phone. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. Two years have gone by. I have not spoken to this girl. I'm like, what the hell? Like, of course my house phone number never changed. So she still had that number. But I do change my cell phone number like every six months. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. My grandma said Shanique was on the phone. I'm like, tell, take a message. Like, tell her I'm not here. I'm not home. Something. So, okay, cool. My grandma does that. The next day comes. My phone rings. House phone about the same time. And I'm one of those people who don't pick up the house phone. So, whoever's home, if you want to answer the house phone... That's fine. It's normally telemarketers, so I'm not answering it. Phone rings around the same time. My grandma says Shaniqua is on the phone. I said, take a message. Next day, phone rings. Shaniqua was on the phone. Take a message. The next day, Shaniqua was on the phone. Take a message. This took place for about two weeks, okay? And I wasn't going to answer the phone. Like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? And like, let me just, let me just like make it clear me and Shaniqua we don't have beef but when you get to a certain age you start realizing why your parents never like certain friends why your parents never wanted you to hang around certain people and I was at that age I'm now in college and I realized why the hell my mom didn't want me hanging around this girl so besides the fact that we never really kept in contact in the first place I just had no interest in like talking to her like I just like what is it we outgrew each other you know that's what it is so don't think I have beef with her I have a problem with her like we just we just outgrew each other friendships people grow people evolve this went on for two weeks she called my house phone for two weeks straight every single time I told my grandma either tell her I'm not home take a message I'm sleeping I'm studying I'm I'm something don't I'm not answering the phone and then the phone call stopped about a month goes by and she starts calling my house again. She did it for about another week or two weeks. I never answered the phone. I always told my grandma to take a message and then she stopped. Two, three months go by and um, Shaniqua follows me on Instagram. And when she did this, I didn't follow her back. And I just pretended like I didn't see it. She likes my photos. Every time I post a photo, she likes my photos. I don't pay no attention to it. One day I posted a photo and another childhood friend of mine who used to live in my neighborhood as well commented under my photo basically saying that um, she misses me and that we need to like link up. And I was like, yeah, girl, like, you know, it's been forever, you know, like, of course we need to link. Here comes Shaniqua. 
Shaniqua gonna comment under both of our comments like, oh my gosh, childhood besties, neighborhood friends, we all need to link. Then the other childhood friend, I guess she didn't know that me and Shaniqua don't talk anymore. Reasonably so because me and her don't talk. But she commented back to Shaniqua's comment and was like, yes, girl, all three of us need to link up. So now they're having a whole conversation under my Instagram photo. At this point, I stop replying. The minute Shaniqua enters the chat, I'm gone. <laughs> See ya. She continued liking my photos every time I posted a photo, whatever, cool. And then one day I was just like, this girl is like high key stalking me. I'm gonna block her. So I block her on Instagram and her sister follows me, Tatiana. So I end up blocking Tatiana. This is where I went wrong. Tatiana reaches out to my cousin Amanda. Now mind you, Amanda's very fond of Shaniqua and Tatiana. We all grew up together, ooh, ooh blah, blah, blah. So she messages Amanda this long paragraph detailing how I blocked both of them on Instagram and Shaniqua was calling my house and uh, you know she couldn't reach me she was calling for months she couldn't reach me uh Tatiana and Shaniqua don't understand what they ever did to me and they're just so hurt and like so offended by like me and like, you've shown up at my house twice now you are calling my house I'm not answering you follow me on Instagram, I'm not acknowledging you. At this point, you're you're forming a habit. And I'm scared. I'm scared. But Amanda texts me the screenshots of the conversation with Tatiana. Amanda basically just said to Tatiana like, oh yeah, I don't know. She's just like, yeah, that's just how Janelle is. And like, you know, I'll definitely let her know and, and see what's up with that and I'll get back to you. So Amanda sends me the screenshots and I'm just like, ain't nobody got time for this. I thought the coast was clear. Um, they realized finally that I'm avoiding them, not answering their calls, blocking them on Instagram. Now they're going through my family to get in contact with me. And a few months go by. Silence. All is good. Then I get home one day from work. And my grandma says, Shaniqua came to the house today. Call the police. Excuse me? Shaniqua came to the who? To the where? To whose house? Not my house. Like, what? She was like, yeah, Shaniqua came to the house today looking for you. I said, oh my God. I was like, what she want? She was like, nothing. She just came looking for you. And I was like, okay, well, I wasn't home. Thank God. So, cool. Maybe about a week or so goes by. And... I come home again from work or school or wherever I was. And my grandma said that Tatiana and Shaniqua came to the house that day. And I'm like, bro, this is scary. Like, are they in danger? Are they homeless? Uh, are they on the run? Like, there must be something really wrong because these girls are hunting me down. And I just asked my grandma, I was like, you know, what did they say? And she was like, nothing. They were just looking for you. Like, they just wanted to see you. And I was like, okay. I wasn't home, so like whatever, it's fine. Maybe like three, four weeks go by, and I come home one day, and my mom says that Shaniqua and Tatiana came to the house with a baby. And I was like, What? And my mom was like, Yeah, they came, and grandma opened the door, and she was talking for a really long time, so my mom was wondering who my grandma was talking to and my mom comes to the door and sees Shaniqua and Tatiana with the baby and my mom was just like hi like you know and like caught up with them a little bit um and basically Shaniqua was like I've been trying to get in contact with Janelle for so long and I can't reach her you know, is she home? And my mom was like, no. And then she said, you know, her her number is changed. I don't have her most recent number. Can I have her number? And mom was like, no. And my mom told Shaniqua to, um, I think she said to like reach out to me uh, via social media to get my number. Um, my mom wasn't just going to give out my number. Um, which was, you know, smart. Go ahead, mama. You got my back. Don't be giving out my number to just anybody, period. Mama, 
love you. P.O.P. All the day. But um, Shaniqua didn't mention that I blocked her and stuff. So they left. That is the story time about my stalker ex-best friend who kept popping up at my house, at my job, at your house, your mama house. If y'all want to know the story about the party from hell, the the legit party from hell, it was a lit party though, but it was it was trash, it was terrible. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Without further ado, I am done. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.